everyone yeah welcome back i'm angie Styles. so today i'll be giving out the next recipe of my list which is a body cleanser yo last time i gave out a brightening body polish so today i'll be giving out a brightening body cleanser so, get your book your formulation book your pencil or pen let's get started all right guys so i have my formulation book with me i've written down the formula that i'll be giving out today and what i'll be giving out is called brightening body cleansing bar yeah it's a bar soap brightening body cleansing bar but this bar soap is different because we are not going to be making this with um, um, lye or, or met, uh, melt and pour or something. We'll be making a cleansing bar that contains no lye, okay? But it contains other surfect, uh, surfactants, okay? So, let's get started. <laughs> So I'll be starting with the face A. So the face A ingredient we'll be needing here is sodium cocoa isotel. We call it SCI powder. SCI powder. The full name is, will be written on the screen. SCI powder. The function here is a surfactant. It's a surfactant. And we'll be needing 47% of it. 47% of SCI. A lot of you used to call me to ask me what the diocese of who is say write it. Anyone that I can't pronounce properly, I write it out on the screen. So pay attention. Watch the video to the end so that you can grab everything. So the next ingredient we'll be needing in the face A is colloidal oatmeal. Okay, colloidal oatmeal powder. The function in this formula is, is, is soothing. It helps suit the skin. And we need 15% of colloidal oatmeal powder. Next ingredient will be niacinamide powder. The function here is an active brightening ingredient. And we'll be needing 6% of niacinamide powder. Next ingredient will be NST gluco, uh, glucosamine powder. Some people call it NAC. The abbreviation NST glucosamine powder. Look at the name on the screen. And the function is a brightening active ingredient. Okay? So um, that will be it for phase A ingredients. Moving on to phase B, we need... AOS 40. AOS 40. The full name will be written on the screen also. And the function in this formula is a surfactant also. It's a surfactant. And we'll be needing 10% of AOS 40 powder. Then the next will be cocoa betaine. Cocoa betaine. And it's also a co-surfactant in this formula. And we'll be needing 8% of cocoa betaine. Next will be sunflower oil. Sunflower oil is an emollient. That's the function in this formula. It's an emollient. And we need just 7% of sunflower oil. Next ingredient will be lemon glycerin glycerate sorry or you can use if you don't have lemon glycerate you can use just um, vegetable glycerin okay and we need um vegetable glycerin is a the function here is a it's a humectant okay it's a humectant and we need two percent of lemon glycerate or vegetable glycerin it's a humectant we need just two percent of it Next ingredient will be liquid jammer plus, and the function here is preservative. We need the preservative, and um, uh, this formula calls for liquid jammer plus. Remember, you can use 
any preservative of your choice just look out for the manufacturer's usage rate yes and we need 0.5 percent of um liquid jama plus next will be um our key letter you can use any key letter you want and uh, we'll be needing uh 0.2 of the key letter the next ingredients uh, the next ingredient on the list is lemongrass essential oil you can use any essential oil you like for this formula i use uh, lemon uh, lemongrass essential oil that's what i use here so you can use any essential oil or any fragrance of your choice okay so the uh, function is fragrance to make our products, our soap smell good. And we'll be needing just 0.3% of the essential oil. So remember, you can use any essential oil of your choice and or any fragrance oil of your choice. Okay, just follow the manufacturer's usage rate. So that will be it for the ingredients we need to make this brightening body cleansing bar so it's divided just into two phase a and phase b so to make this measure out all your ingredients use a scale okay use a good scale to measure out all your ingredients please do not use spoon to measure your ingredients i keep getting that what is this what does this mean in spoon we are not using spoon to measure this ingredient get yourself a scale okay a good scale a good lab scale even if it's the small one you can use it to be measuring as you grow you can get the professional scale okay professional lab scale that's what i mean so to make this measure out your ingredients the face a in a different beaker and then measure out the face b in a different beaker Mix the, the face A contains all the powder ingredients, the dried ingredients. Mix them together and set aside them. Measure your face B and mix everything in face B. Add as the face A into your face B and mix it properly. Mix it properly until all the ingredients are well combined. After mixing it, get your mold and put it into your mold. You, when you put it into your mold, you press it okay you press it this is not a uh, melt and pour or a uh, soap bar soap using lye so when you mix it together then you put it in say in, in into your into your mode okay any mode you are using then press it and leave it to dry just leave it on your countertop or your lab just leave it let it dry i like i love to leave it till the next day Okay, you can leave it overnight for you to solidify firmly, to solidify very well. So the next day you can unmold it and there you go. You have your brightening body cleansing bar. Okay, so that is it. So how to use it when you go into your shower, you wet your body first with um, lukewarm water, not hot water, please lukewarm water and then use the soap to apply the soap all over your body like apply it all over your body from your shoulder down to your uh, neck apply it keep apply it make sure you lather all your body properly keep lathering your body and wait for about five minutes or ten minutes leaving the soap on your body then after that you can use your sponge and then um, exfoliate your body and rinse it off okay so that is it if you have any question concerning this formula please leave it in the comment box below and that way i um, answer you okay and um, all of you that have questions you know i i do answer and uh, if i haven't replied your email i've been so busy this past few weeks uh, this past weeks so if I if you have uh, if I haven't replied your email, please I will reply it maybe as from tomorrow. I will create time and go through your emails and reply them. Okay, um, but if you want me to reply you faster, leave your comments under the video.
ask your question under the comments um, section of this video. It I will see it faster. I I'll get the notification faster. See it and then reply you. Okay. All right, guys. So um oh I forgot to mention. Please measure the um remember to measure the uh, pH of this and we are using some surfactant here and the preservative that uh, that are ph sensitive so you need to measure your ph and make sure your B your ph arrives at 5.5 to 6 to measure ph of this kind of um solid product what you do is you take um one percent of that product and mix it with nine percent of water okay and mix it with water to dissolve it and then use your ph meter or your ph strip to measure the ph okay so um the ph should be around 5.5 to 6 that is normal remember at the end of the video i will be putting um the picture of this so that you can take screenshots of it okay to view the ingredients and the measurement and the formula everything so that will be it for today's um video <laughs> if you have any question leave it below i'm so tired i need to rest and before i go i want to wish all the papas and the papas to be a happy father's day okay happy father's day to you all and um make sure you enjoy yourself because today is your day <laughs> okay guys see you in my next video bye bye